All right, so we're gonna do a quick little processing on this graph that we created using our script. So we see we have the site network uh, GEXF file loaded that our script output. We're gonna click OK in Gephi. This is a very simple little map we have here. We'll turn on the black background. We'll select Force Atlas, set it to 1000 for rep repulsion strength. Uh, it's going to create this little cluster. You can adjust this to 2000 if you want and hit enter. And we can click stop because it's done. Now, in your partition menu, if you click the little refresh button, that's going to say choose a partition. So entity type was something that Lawrence had picked to uh, flag the various nodes in the graph. So we want to actually select that. And then that's going to enable us to color the nodes in the graph based on whether they're a website, Google Analytics, you would also see Google AdSense, Amazon, and add this as well, should have we uh, detected those. So we click apply, and that's actually gonna color in our graph for us. That's great. You can, on larger graphs, click on the ranking uh, pane and select rank parameter degree. And if you click this little ruby looking thing, this means that we're actually gonna set uh, the size of the node to a proportional size based on how many connections it has. So I'll just pick 25 here and click OK. So that's pretty gigantic. So let's go 10 and click Apply. Okay, so that's a little bit more sane, uh, but we don't actually know, aside from the fact that this is a Google Analytics tracking code based on the color, we don't know what these actually are. So let's turn on node labels and our node labels are way too big. So let's use this little slider here and trim it down to a normal size. We can probably even go a little bit lower. Perfect. So we can see that the Google tracking code here of 53176102 is connected to these sites here. We see that materialevidence.com is actually connected to another Google tracking code over here. So this is why material evidence, the node here is a bit larger than the other red nodes because it has uh, two degrees of connectivity, whereas these guys just have one. So you can generate some fairly large graphs using this script. If you uh, build a list of domains and pass that in using the minus F parameter, uh, then you will see a very large graphs get generated and you can see some really interesting interrelationships between tracking codes and websites. So thank you very much, Lawrence, for uh, starting this script and, and for giving the idea and it was great collaborating on this awesome work.